I'm meteorologist John Dawson. This is the Fox 26 tropical update designed just for YouTube. Glad you found us here on the YouTube channel. Uh, we are going to continue to be talking about the latest in the tropics. And right now things are getting very interesting uh, in the Gulf of Mexico. And if you're in the state of Florida or southeastern portions of the US, Time to start paying attention. It's time to start getting ready for a potential hurricane making a landfall because that's what Adelia looks like it wants to be doing right now. And we're going to dive into things here right away as we are preparing uh, for uh, lots of things to talk about here. I'm going to start with what's not a big concern at the moment, but I just need to update you because we're doing that always right off of the Africa, African coast. There is an area that the National Hurricane Center is kind of watching a little bit and in a bigger picture, giving it about a 20% chance of development, which in the next within the next seven days. But we have two tropical cyclones currently being watched in the Atlantic Basin. First one's going to be Franklin, which is forecast to become a major hurricane, but not really interact with any land. And then, of course, we have Idalia, which we are expecting to make a landfall in Florida and maybe even more than one landfall if it gets over near the Carolinas and sort of starts way a little bit uh, onshore and offshore. We'll sort of see what happens. Now, the last 12 hours of Adelia has been exactly kind of what we thought were going to be happening, just kind of swirling around a little bit here. So on Sunday morning, the Hurricane Center identified this as a tropical storm. It was a tropical depression uh, last night, and then now again, a tropical storm uh, in the morning hours on Sunday. Uh, and here in the 4 p.m. update in the afternoon, again, it's a, a tropical storm, and that northward track is sort of starting to begin a little bit. You'll notice that all of the rain that's sort of associated with Adelia is not sort of wrapped around it. It's not a very organized, not a very pretty looking tropical cyclone at the moment. All of this land and some of these upper level winds kind of preventing that from happening. But the expectation is once we get through the Yucatan Channel here, that's the area between the Yucatan Peninsula and Cuba. Once we kind of get through this channel and more or less in to the Gulf of Mexico, all conditions begin to improve for in increasing intensity. In other words, getting stronger and more organized. And that's not necessarily what we want to hear uh, because we do expect this to be heading towards uh, the Florida region. Real quick, we're not seeing a lot of impacts so far along the coast of Florida. We're going to look at some more uh, buoy readings here in just a few minutes. And the radar also indicating that there is quite a bit of rain associated with this storm. And we'll continue to monitor that. The, wind, the rain is not going to be the biggest concern right now, but it is going to be a concern, and the winds are certainly going to be a threat as well. Waters very, very warm. This is one of the concerns for that, that rapid intensification where we see a storm get very strong in a very short amount of time. That's certainly something that could be happening here once Adelia gets into the Gulf of Mexico. So here's that official forecast track from the National Hurricane Center. So we still have about 24 hours where we're not getting into the Gulf yet. So here is Monday in the afternoon about one o'clock. Uh, we're still more or less in the channel. So current location. This is going to be Monday in the afternoon. So again, you're not looking at a lot of movement here. The current movement as far as the speed that it is moving is about three miles an hour. So that's crawling at speed is what that's doing. But notice here the difference. Uh, well, we'll look at that in just a minute. I do want to point out the rest of the current statistics as far as the 4 p.m. Uh, update uh, 40 mile an hour winds. So again, not a strong storm, but it's where it's headed and what's going to be happening where the concerns are. So again, we here is where we expect to see Adelia tomorrow in the afternoon. Notice how the winds have increased, though, to 65 miles an hour. That's a much stronger tropical storm tomorrow in the afternoon. As I back things out a little bit here, we're going to go from Monday afternoon to Tuesday afternoon. Look at the distance that this storm is going to cover. So it's going to speed up quite a bit. Uh, the faster, the better at this point, because the longer it hangs around in these warm waters, the stronger it will get. And at this point in time, Wednesday early morning hours, so even before sunrise on Wednesday is when this is expecting to make a landfall. We're looking at a category two hurricane with 100 mile an hour winds right now on the west side of Florida. Always want to stress, 
always want to point out that our yellow shading here is the entire possibilities of where Adelia can make landfall. We always put this icon here right in the middle. I don't want us to get too focused and centered exactly on a point because if Adelia were to be over here more on the edge of where we think it will go, remember this yellow shading here is that cone of uncertainty. It's saying where we think the center of Adelia will make its landfall. So it's very possible that the center of Adelia can be over here on the edge of this yellow, meaning that the impacts reach much further over uh, to the east than where they are currently expected to reach. Just a little bit of a shift in that track can make a huge difference as far as the winds, the rains, and especially the storm surge. And remember, storm surge is the deadliest threat that a hurricane can bring, historically speaking. Uh, and that is what we need to make sure that the folks who need to evacuate and who are most prepared for that will be happening. So again, timeline Wednesday, early morning hours, landfall category two hurricane weakening to a tropical storm, but still 60 mile an hour winds. So Georgia and the Carolinas are still going to need to be watching this very close because we could still have 60 mile an hour winds on Thursday afternoon as it's roaring through the Carolinas and then eventually getting back over to open water here on Friday afternoon, maybe even increasing its strength could possibly even go back to hurricane strength. But at this point, with it being out over the ocean, we're a little bit less concerned about what that's going to do. So here's that official forecast track. You know, this will change, but we're still early on. It's a really big deal as far as exactly where Adelia enters the Gulf of Mexico. You know, that channel that I talked about, if it enters a little bit further over to the west, that's going to change the track quite a bit. Uh, and it's beginning to finally get itself more organized with that center of circulation, which is a key component. But then it, after that, it's really where is that going to continue to move out uh, in, into the Gulf? As we've talked about some kind of buoy readings here that we're looking at, we got 31 mile an hour winds that are being recorded just very, very close to where that center is being identified. A little bit of an, the icon there representing uh, where that center is. So uh, we're also wanting to just talk about those watches and warnings for just a minute. We have the tropical storm warnings that were down for the Yucatan Peninsula and the western side of Cuba. Jumping up to Florida now, we do have hurricane again because we're expecting a hurricane landfall. Hurricane watches because it's at least again, it's going to be about 48 hours before this happens. Now the yellow here representing a tropical storm watch that's strictly based on those winds. But remember, a slight shift in that track could put hurricane force winds down in the Fort Myers area as well. So all through Tampa Bay and in, up to uh, Panama City. That's where we're currently seeing that hurricane watch. So things have gotten pretty serious uh, over the last 24 hours where now we're seeing these watches. And if you are in the Florida area, uh, this is the time to really get those preparations going. Uh, move into action time now. It's not just watching and seeing. It's now action time when you see these watches that are put up uh, from the National Hurricane Center. So we're looking at the rainfall expectations real quick. Uh, where the center of that track goes, you can kind of see here on our European model where those expectations are. We're definitely going to be pushing over four inches of rain. Uh, that's not going to be the biggest uh, threat that we're looking at. The winds and the storm surge are certainly going to be a bigger problem. Hurricane Franklin, just real quick, kind of updating you because this is interesting as far as this strengthening that's happening. Currently a category two hurricane, 100 mile an hour winds, movement to the north northwest at around eight miles an hour, expected to be a category three hurricane and eventually even becoming a category four hurricane once we get into Tuesday, but then getting pushed out and weakening as it heads into the Atlantic. So not going to be making an impact on the eastern coast of the US. Bermuda certainly going to be uh, watching closely, but the rest of this is going to stay out in the Atlantic. So Adelia is our current named storm. Our, so we checked that one off of the list as of Sunday morning. We'll go to Jose next. Nothing on the horizon at this point where we think we're going to specifically see uh, Jose. We always update you every day uh, at around, a little after 4 p.m. update from the Hurricane Center here on YouTube. Uh, if you need more information, you can find that on my uh, Twitter or, or X 
uh, as well as Facebook and uh, Instagram is more on the preparation side of things. But if you need some current uh, maps and, and where things are headed, uh, that would be good to find. If you do want some ideas on preparations uh, and how you can make sure that you're ready, uh, do go to Instagram for that. Again, I'm at John Dawson Fox 26. Thanks for checking in with us. We'll be back again here tomorrow afternoon with another tropical update.